Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, the 9th of February, we're off to Ludlow on Wednesday. Good ground, really sharp, right-handed track, a competitive card, really decent prize money on offer. We start off with our value angle selection in the 2.30. This is the Atwood Memorial Trophy Handicap Chase. Two mile, four furlongs and 11 yards. A class three for five-year-olds and upwards, chasing £11,219 to the winner. They've been rewarded with a pretty decent sized field. And the one I like is Evan Williams' is Quo de Neef. Now, this eight-year-old has been relatively lightly raced. He's had 13 runs over under rules. He's a winner over hurdles and he was a winner over fences at Taunton on good ground back in December when beating Nicholson jumping superbly and having them all absolutely stone cold a long way out there only winning by three and three quarter lengths of a mark of 123 the handicapper didn't miss him put him up 10 pounds in one hit but it was more about the soft ground next time at taunton that's not his game at all he needs decent ground he got tired there finished a remote third behind golden boy gray he's been dropped a couple of pounds which is pretty sensible wedges back in the saddle they should go a really decent gallop here which is what he needs he's a real smooth traveler a glider rather than a quickener and i think he'll love ludlow and um, it'll be his absolute optimum conditions on good ground as i say both his wins so far have been on good ground that is what he needs for our nap of the day we go to the two o'clock this is the bet at racing tv.com national hunt novice hurdle two miles Class four for four-year-olds and upwards, £5,854 to the winner. Again, a big field, 15 runners. I think Lakota Warrior here of Dan Skelton's can defy a penalty. Now, Dan Skelton chugging along really well at the moment. Ten winners in the last fortnight, unlike some of the other top stables. Paul Nichols in particular, I think he's in like one from 50 Nichols. He's been really rocked by the flu jab. They're not taking part, his horses, but Dan chugs along nicely. This one was um, promising in a couple of bumpers sent off a well-backed horse on each occasion had the wind operation 247 days off a sighter over two mile four at Aintree behind Jolino Bella when in need of the run much more like it in a small field at Weatherby when making all the running beating source of life and then stepped up in class last time I didn't think he was disgraced behind Harbour Lake who's a very nice horse um, just getting tired on heavy ground there back on decent ground here a front running ride likely at Ludlow Skelton uh, is brilliant from the front and I think the Kota Warrior could take an awful lot of passing it's never easy to win these races under a penalty but this looks a pretty weak one and most of them be ridden with an eye on the future best of luck on Wednesday betting experts <laughs>